क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends now we are going to discuss about that is what is the action of grignard reagent on aldehyde and ketone so now let us understand in this talk so for that let me discuss about the general reaction so we understand that is the aldehyde and ketone they consist of a common carbon group that is c double bond o and this could be an aldehyde also or this could be ketone also so this is the generalization that i'm representing over here so suppose if it reacts with the grignard reagent and the grignard reagent is been represented by r m g x we also know that is this magnesium is the one that will acquire a partially positive charge while this alkyl group it will acquire a partially negative charge because magnesium is more electroposative compared to that of an alkyl group which consists of a carbon atom and in this case basically in this carbonyl group the carbon will acquire a partially positive charge while this oxygen it will acquire a partially negative charge so that's the reason that this mgx the whole mgx it will try to attach on this oxygen atom over here while this r minus it will attach to the carbon atom over here so that is the reason that the product that we could form over here it will be an adduct so the product that we could form over here as an adduct or as an intermediate that is c in this case this is a addition reaction that it takes place over here and now that is on the carbon atom we could find that is the r group or the alkyl group gets attached and on the oxygen atom basically the mgx group is been attached so this is nothing but the adduct that has been formed but the reaction doesn't stop so we here obviously this reaction should undergo that is acid hydrolysis process but this reaction that is from conversion of an aldehyde or ketone to an adduct it takes place in the presence of dry ether and now on further hydrolysis that is in presence of that is h3o plus if we could say then the product that has been formed as we understand that is this mgx this will react with this h3o and that is how we could get the following product and the product would be that is c this would be nothing but here it would be r while this one would be oh while this mgx it will be reacting with that of the h3o and this is how basically mgx oh is been formed as a byproduct so what we have formed during the conversion of an aldehyde or during a reaction of an aldehyde or a ketone with grignard reagent we have formed an alcohol so this is how basically alcohol is been formed because of the aldehyde and ketone whenever it reacts with grignard reagent so this was the general reaction that i have represented over here and now let me discuss about the examples so discussing about the examples suppose if we have considered the formaldehyde that is h c double bond o h and suppose if that reacts with methyl magnesium iodide that is ch3 mgi so how the reaction will proceed it is simple to understand that is the mg along with that of this iodine atom it will acquire a positive charge while this ch3 or this methyl group it will acquire partially negative charge and this carbon atom it will acquire partially positive charge while this oxygen atom it will acquire partially negative charge so that's the reason that this methyl group it will attach to the oppositely charged carbon atom over here and this mgi it will attach on the oxygen atom over here so and obviously we understand that is it takes place in the presence of a dry ether as a solvent and the product that is been formed is an adduct so it would be nothing but h c h it would be as it is while this oxygen it will be attached with that of the mgi so therefore this is mgi and now here it will be ch3 so this is a complex or this is an adduct that has been formed but this is not the final product that we could get obviously this reaction should proceed with the help of that is acid hydrolysis that is in presence of h3o plus and we could find that is here since we have used that is h2o so and that also in presence of an acid so therefore we could find that is here it will be the h that is will be attached over here while here it will be oh of the water molecule that would attach to the mgi so the product the main product that we could form over here is h c h here it will be ch3 that is this one and now this oxygen it will be attached with that of the hydrogen atom while the rest of the byproduct is basically mgi 
OH. So this is the product that we have formed and what is this product? This product is nothing but an alcohol and the name of this alcohol is we could call it as ethanol. So if you observe this alcohol that has been formed is nothing but the primary alcohol. So whenever the formaldehyde it reacts with the Grignard reagent a formation of primary alcohol takes place. So what happens? If we are using different aldehyde so let me explain that also with the help of an example so the reaction is so the next reaction that is I'm going to talk about is what is the reaction if or what is the action of the Grignard reagent on acetaldehyde so that is CH3 C double bond OH suppose if it reacts with that is CH3 MgBr or methyl magnesium bromide Obviously, the reaction would be very much similar. That is what we have did in the previous reaction. So the product that we could get, in this case, it would be nothing but an adduct, and that is CH3, C, here it would be H, and on the oxygen atom, there would be, that is, MgBr that would be attached over there, while on the carbon, or fulfilling the carbon, there will be CH3 that is attached on here. So this is the product that we have got over here, and that is known as adduct. But this will undergo the hydrolysis process that is in presence of an assay that is H plus along with that of that is H2. So the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is the hydrogen atom of the water molecule that would acquire over here and the rest of the OH it would attach on the MgBr. So in this case the product that we could get is CH3 C CH3 I am measuring this CH3 over here and this is nothing but H while this one would be converted into OH while the byproduct it would be that is Mg Br so the product that we have got is an alcohol and if we observe then it could be called as a secondary alcohol and the name of this alcohol it could be called as isopropyl alcohol or in terms of an IEPSC we could say that it is known as propane so this is how we can prepare secondary alcohol so it has been clear that suppose if we take formaldehyde then there will be only a formation of primary alcohol and suppose if we consider the other aldehyde like suppose acetaldehyde then there will be formation of a secondary alcohol so this is how basically the reaction of an aldehyde with that of the Grignard reagent so now let us discuss about the last point that is what happens if the ketone it reacts with the Grignard reagent so talking about the example that is suppose if we consider that is acetone that is CH3 C double bond O CH3 and suppose if we are reacting it with the that is methyl magnesium iodide so the reaction is very similar that we have did earlier only that is in presence of dry ether we could get a product and that product will be an addict that is CH3 C here it will be O M G I but here that is CH3 and uh, the rest of the alkyl group or this is the CH3 group that will attach over here. So this is the addict that has been formed over here. And now on further hydrolysis that is in presence of acid we could find that is this addict it will be converted into CH3 C CH3 this one would be converted into OH while this valency of the carbon atom it would be fulfilled by CH3 so the alcohol that we have got over here is nothing but a tertiary alcohol and the name of this is tertiary butyl alcohol in terms of a common name while in terms of an IUPC name it could be called as 2 methyl propane so it is been clearly understood that it is an aliphatic ketone whenever it reacts with Grignard reagent it forms and that also on hydrolysis it forms a tertiary alcohol so this is what I want to talk about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this reaction very easily and I hope I'll see you next time. So till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.